queens. Hello. What's up, everyone? It is your girl, leading Lady Dar here, coming before you to say hello, greetings, and just check in with everyone. There's been some new things. I just want to bring you up to speed. Been some new things going on in the wonderful world of walking them shoes. This community, y'all, has been phenomenal. Y'all been so ever patient with me. I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful. I appreciate it. Um, so your girl has been missing in action. And are you going, you probably look back on a few videos and say, wow, yeah, you said that in another video. But it's all good because leading Lady Dar has been really working her behind off, y'all. I've been working so hard, not just for me, not just for not just to show what it is that I can do, but I'm working hard because what God has planted in my heart, on my heart, what God has envisioned me to do, his path, his plans for my life, the path that he's chose for me, I I just said yes to. I said yes because one, I love it. I love what it is that um, I realize that I'm purposed to do. I love that. But also because when I surrender and I say, yes, so many things have opened up for me. So many things have begun to really just come to fruition for me. And way before now, so you've heard me in a few other videos make mention of that. And you know, I always give honor to where it's due. And I love my God. I love the God that I serve. So again, yes, your girly and Lady Dara here is doing a multiple multiple different things and it's not just for me again it is for my community it's for the women that i serve the women that i help the women who are connected to me for many different reasons so all of what i do i don't just do for me and what pleasure i get out of it or what status and what influence whatever it is that i get out of it i do it for the walk in them shoes community so if you're part of the community you are blessed if you are a part of the community your girl leading lady dar really do love you and you know uh we've trickled out our newsletter this year we've trickled out um a few other things that we've done um actually our uh darnice i'm speaking darnice in the third sense like i'm not her um but darnice has <laughs> i have i finalized my journals uh and it's plural journals because there's three um one has already been launched and it is um vanity is needed so that one launched i believe april 1st um, the newsletter is a little bit behind so just bear with me bear with me i've also been able to in the time that i've just been working and planning i'm putting these systems together so that things can run much smoother and finally, finally have reached out, have a hired assistant. So, you know, sometimes you get people to help you and, you know, the help is good sometimes, you know, but sometimes the help moves on their time and not so much on the time that's needed for the biz, right? So I have hired help. So hopefully things will run a little better and the, the, the strategies that we put into place are going to make things run smoother like you know a little well-oiled machine so you know um just just stay with me stay excited be excited not even just for the walking them shoes journey but be excited for your journey good people and again i couldn't think of some of the other things that we did but you know we relaunched and we we rebranded we re did our logo and walking them shoes actually we we did our redid our logo we actually um redid our uh, tagline as well so you know sometimes i get a little stump because sometimes i get i'm working and walking them shoes and i'm also working in the other business black black woman about business but walking them shoes the community here y'all is is so much love is so much um how can I say it without saying togetherness but it is it's love and it's you know it's love outside of 
the YouTube channel. It's love outside of the workshops. It's love. So I'm very appreciative of that. If you have not uh, joined the Walk in Them Shoes group on Facebook, you need to be a part of that because with the strategic plans that we have in place, there's some things that's going to be going on in the group as well. So I want y'all to get excited, but that's enough of that. I just wanted to kind of bring you y'all up to speed and also want to share with you before I go into the topic for tonight. And the topic for tonight, y'all know I love, 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 not just myself, but I love y'all and I love a woman loving on herself and taking care of herself. It is of the utmost importance is what God has designed us to do. God didn't create us. God didn't allow us to be here on earth just to take care of other people. Yes, we're nurturers. Yes. But he wants us to take care of ourselves. And you all know that if we don't take care of ourselves, no one else can get taken care of. So you're no good to anyone if you're laid up and if you're laid up in a bed in a, and you can function, you're laid up in a bed and you can't do anything for yourself or for other people. Sometimes being laid up in a bed is a good thing. So no, let me stop. But being laid up in the bed, resting is a good thing. You know, I can't even stop smiling now. But being laid up in the bed is a good thing when you're allowing your mind and your body to rest. But later, being laid up in the bed, not being able to function, not being able to do things for yourself, not being able to be productive is serious. So we don't want that. You know, our bodies will lay us down if we don't listen to it, you know, the first time or second time and maybe the third time, our bodies will lay us down. But self-care is what I promote. Walking them shoes, as I said, is the community, y'all. It's not just a quote. It's not just a saying. It really is a movement. And it's all about the women and how we take care of ourselves as well as take care of one another, right? So everything that I do this year, I said, is my year. This year, I said so many things are being birthed. And when I say that all the hell I went through in 2021, whoo! Them labor pains, woo, y'all, listen here. Let me tell y'all, I've birthed some nine-pound babies, okay? My grandson was a whole nine pounds, and I think, or no, my granddaughter was nine pounds. My grandson was eight pounds, nine ounces, something like that. And what the mothers had to do to push them big babies out, whoo, the panting and the heavy panting and the heavy breathing and the pushing and the cramping and the bleeding and it's just like life and business and personal lives when we're birthing something when something god has uh given us something that we actually have to kind of put together it's being formed it's in us it's it's growing you know it, it it's uncomfortable things become uncomfortable and after things become uncomfortable, then things start to hurt. Here come those pains and, you know, your breathing changes. And now, you know, you you are posi positioning yourself for labor. And labor can be a beautiful thing. Sometimes after we get through all of that and we see that beautiful baby, that beautiful thing. So that's just like this right here. I birthed this walk in them shoes and couldn't have done it without God. So, so many things have come in to play, y'all. And when I say I'm so grateful, I'm so blessed that if you would have told me or someone would have told me, well, in order for you to get there, and I'm not even there completely yet, but if someone had told me in order for me to get there, I would have to go through that, that, and that. I probably would have been like a punk and said, no, I'm good. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go through that. But I thank God for the the uncomfortable feelings I've had, the, the uh, disappointments that I've had. I thank God for, you know, those moments, those trying times. I really, truly thank God for all of that, y'all. Um, but some of the things that are being birthed, whew, when I say that the book, that hump book, y'all, y'all know I've been working on that for a minute now. It has been in an editor's, editor's hands. Sad to say it's been in the editor's hands since January. And in February, she sent the copy back to me for my edits. 
And guess what? Your girl had been so busy, so busy. And not being busy doing nothing because you know it's not really a good thing to be busy, so busy that you're doing that. And it has been a productive type busy, but I've been so busy that I haven't been able to make those edits. But I was able to finalize the journals. I have one journal that was published and out April 1st. And who y'all? Amazon got them, baby. Amazon got these. Vanity is needed. Amazon have these available. So go and get your copy, good people. It is Vanity is Needed, a 21-day self-love journal. This right here, when I say God had been really birthing some good things. Well, no, let me say, I mean, well, God had planted that seed. God planted that seed and I've been watering it and I've been nurturing it and I had been in labor, y'all. When I say labor, I mean labor without an epidural, mother. So I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So been through some things, okay? But the end result is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And this is just one of the beautiful things, one of the many beautiful things God has blessed me to be able to do he really had these creative juices flowing in me, and I'm so grateful. Um, so go and get your copy. You know, it really is a journal. It is a nice journal with affirmations, pr uh, prompts. Do this one have prompts? Um, affirmations and, um, yeah, affirmations. Affirmations, yeah. Affirmations and, um, yeah, prompts. But, you know, it's a nice journal. Um so go and get it. Leading Lady Dar was able to complete this here. And, you know, when I said been busy, it's not a busy of just doing any old thing. It's been a busy with intentions, intentions on getting things completed. And the second journal should be out hopefully within another two weeks. That one is um, a queen's anointing. Um, that one is for my Christian ladies. And then the other one is girl... Uh, get your life. Um, so, you know, some good, good and great things have been going on here. And I just want to encourage you on today to continue on your self-care journal, your self-care journey. Uh, Walk in Them Shoes, new tagline. You've probably already seen it because we've been using it. We really have been using it. Um, but it's uh, inspiring women to blaze the trail to success. That's what I do. That's what I enjoy doing. My whole organization, my coaching business, new packages in a coaching business have been formed and put together. And I'm seeing it come together, so I'm excited. Even if you're not hiring me as a coach, and which you really should, uh, a life coach, yes. If you're not hiring me as a life coach, even still, some good and great things are going to be coming out through this YouTube channel. So um, look forward to that. You'll be able to get blessed through some of the YouTube channels. You know, you'll be able to get blessed with some of the postings that will come out. We have a calendar marked and things are coming together and being placed in order. And I'm going to leave you with this, that if you don't do anything, spend some time with God, spend some time alone take time out for you for your mindset to be right y'all have to really really position yourself because right here where you are is not where you should always remain is not where you should want to remain you want to grow you want to be able to move from here to there not just from here to there but here to there you know many people ask oh dar i see you you always traveling you always on the go Good things have been happening for me and I'm not only taking care of me and myself, but I'm taking care of God and God's work, doing God's work, God's business and having that relationship with him. The anointing on our lives, if we just one, recognize that we have it and two, spend that time with God and make sure that we're opening ourselves up to be able to hear from him. I'm going to tell y'all, that anointing can take you far. That anointing can open up doors that no man can open or shut. That anointing, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all better listen. Y'all better listen to your girl. So just remain faithful to yourself. Remain faithful to your higher power. 
and just continue to love on yourselves. Thank you again for your support of Walking Them Shoes. The community is growing, y'all. Uh, so continue to look out for the newsletter. I'm not trying to bombard your emails, but share the email with someone. Share it with someone and tell someone to join the email list. You know, great things are going to be coming, and I'm just so I'm just so happy and I'm excited. I get a little hype sometimes, and my words start fumbling and all, and you know, but it's all good. Leading Lady Dart is here to serve you. Leading Lady Dart is here to help encourage you, to uplift you, and I just want to say this. I also have um, my very first clubhouse, um, She Has Shifted, starts this coming Saturday. And if y'all on clubhouse, join Leading Lady Dar, it's going to be phenomenal. Shifted, y'all. When I say the new coaching packages, that package right there, when I tell you that once you, once you sign up for that, you won't be the same. There's no way in the world that you're going to sit with me Hire me to be your coach and your mind not be shifted and things in your life shift. And people keep asking me, how are you able to do this? How are you able to do that? Because I took the time and I poured into myself. And the things that I put in place for myself, the things that I've been doing and doing with God, made the shift, baby. I shifted. So I want you to stay encouraged. I want to see you get shifted. I want to see that for you. I want you to become a shifter. So follow your girl at um, on Instagram, Walking Them Shoes. Join the community by visiting her website, walkingthemshoesllc.com. And continue to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the ringer, the ringer, the ringer, the ringer, the reminder bell. Hit that thing. Smash that thing. Smash them likes and share it, you know. And also join me on Clubhouse at Lena Lady Dar. She has shifted every Saturday at 9 a.m. I hope to see you there, ladies. Enjoy. <music>